the Prusa SL1S. The S is for speed, and speed is what I need. Hey there, welcome back. I am in a time crunch because tonight we leave for Neil Patrick Harris's house. Here's the mini cherry on top of the regular cherry on top of the Sunday of awesomeness that is my life. We have some incredible projects planned with him and I didn't want to come to his house without bearing some gifts. And so really quickly, the story is, and the reason I've got a resin printer on my desk, Nick Daimlow, you know him as Bugman140. He created a Haunted Mansion inspired bust and released the STL. It looks incredible. A lot of people printed it out. I had an idea. I reached out to him because Neil Patrick Harris is a huge fan of the Haunted Mansion. And I said, hey Nick, what if, what if you could create a Neil Patrick Harris inspired Haunted Mansion bust. And what if I could print it and bring it to him? And Nick was like, that's an amazing idea. And so he got it done. There was a couple revisions made and then he gave me a surprise model, both of which are on here. So here's the plan. Before we leave tonight, we're going to get these models off the build plate. We're gonna clean them, we're gonna cure them, I'm gonna sand them, prime them, paint them. I'm gonna add these little bases to the bottom and hopefully, fingers crossed, we bring them to Neil Patrick Harris and he likes them. That's the goal. We're dealing with resin, so it's imperative that safety is first and we use some gloves. These are the gloves that came with the Prusa SL1S and they are, these are nice. These are nice gloves. The S is for speed, it's true. And when I was printing these out, it was crazy to see because the tank itself is what, is what lowers and peels away the model from the FEP sheet rather than the build plate moving up and down, up and down, up and down. And so every two to two and a half seconds, the tank would lower to peel away from the model, which meant that we were running two to two and a half seconds per layer. These models here, what you see on the build plate at this size, two and a half hours. Oh, it just boggles my mind. Okay, here we go. So first what I'm gonna do is get them off here. Oh, resin. I know that with, um, with the CW1S, I know that you can wash with the supports on. You can just put this whole build plate in the washer and it's good to go. I don't like that. Not for this one. I'm gonna remove the supports before I put it in the wash station. Tighten it up and it's ready for the next project. Here we go. So this is Neil Patrick Harris as a Haunted Mansion inspired bust. You can tell it's got some supports around it but at the same time, you could tell it looks good. And, and obviously it took very little time to make this, but check this out. Nick gave this model as a surprise. He said, you know, Neil Patrick Harris, he's a fan of the circus. And so I thought about making a, a circus inspired figure with a, a top hat and a clown nose and, um, and a flower on the lapel that shoots water. <laughs> the supports come off so good. Oh my gosh, that was easy. Look at that. Top hat, big nose. It's got the clown makeup, clown makeup and the flower on the lapel. God, the supports came off really easy. There we go. This is Neil and this is Neil with the top hat. This is the top where you can, just like with the Prusa SL1, this is where you can attach the build plate. We opted not to do that. There's a basket on the inside. So these models I can just toss in. Made a fun noise. I'm gonna close it. That's gonna go for four minutes. It's just the default time. When it comes out, it should be washed enough, but just in case, I do have my uh, Colgate electric toothbrush. We'll be able to use this to get any of that pesky resin that might be in the, the, the crevices on the model. While it's washing, I'm gonna talk to you about these. These are the bases for the busts and they will allow them to sit upright. Uh, these were printed in IC3D ABS on the raised 3D E2. Yoink. Each one took one hour and eight minutes. So I printed one and then I printed the other <laughs> and all while these were printing. It's amazing if you can break up a print job, you can get a lot of things done real quick. And with this, so the, with the E2 and the SL1S, S is for speed. What's that noise? Oh, look at the display. Okay, so this is still pretty new. Maybe there's a firmware update or something that I need to apply, I don't know. But at this point, I don't have the time to uh, monkey around with that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna consider these uh, pretty good here. 
I just want to run an isopropyl alcohol soaked brush over the details. Uh, so just taking a look, we haven't dried it yet, but print quality is pretty darn good. There's no finishing done on this. This is just washed. No curing has happened. <laughs> wow. wow. I'm gonna consider these both washed at this point. Usually what can happen is uh, you can get a compressor or a blow dryer, something to run some air across the models just to get the isopropyl alcohol off of it. You wanna clear as much off the surface as you can before you cure it. For us though, I think a paper towel is gonna do just fine. When you have yourself a highly detailed model, a lot of times the air is gonna be better. And here's where the bases come in, watch this. So if I put a base in the bottom, now you can see what we're going for. I, these were scaled down to 50% size just because I had uh, time to consider and I wanted to get it all in one piece. Both of them on the SL1S, S is for speed, build plate. So that's what I did. These look great. Uh, I think they are rinsed enough. Um, we did have that error on the display panel. I'm gonna reboot the CW1S and then we're going to initiate a cure. What's great is having these bases means that these can sit upright as they spin around and I don't have to brace them on something or cure them with supports. So let me do that. Have a look at this. This is the new plate on the CW1S. So the SL1S uh, speed, right? This one, the CW1S has an FEP covering over the over the drying plate, I guess is what you want to call it, the motorized turning plate. And that keeps it from getting all mucked up or dirty. Or if resin leaks out from a drainage hole, it's not going to get within the machine. I think that's a really good little added on feature. I tried to take it off when I first got it, think it was a covering, but then I read the instructions and it's supposed to be there. Now we can cure. I'm going to close this. Goodbye, Niels. Curing. While it's curing, I do have it set to provide heat to the chamber. It just helps a little bit. The chamber itself is 22.5 Celsius right now, and curing has two, uh, two minutes, two hours, two minutes and 40, 45, 40 ish seconds left. We're almost there. A few moments later. It beeped. Let's take a look. We've got Circus Neil, we've got regular Neil, and these are both in the Haunted Mansion style, the Haunted Mansion bust style that uh, Bugman140 did. So now what we need to do, Sean needs to go pack, Woo, and I should pack as well. I'm gonna take these to my garage where I've got some paints and some primers and a very low heat source to help things kind of finalize quicker. And we're gonna get these done in time to get them to Neil. See you in the garage. So right here, I've got an old GPU mining rig and I just use it to heat the garage. Uh, but also, I can, I can put them right here in front of the power supply, which is blowing nice warm air. And these should take just a few minutes to cure to the point where I can add another layer. I think everything is done. Oh, they look so good. Okay, so I gotta go pack. We gotta get on an airplane and we gotta go visit Neil. Like, keep your fingers crossed. I really, I really hope he likes these. See you in New York. He does 3D modeling. He's incredibly talented. Love. And I said, my, uh, my friend Neil is a huge fan of the Haunted Mansion. Oh, stop. Yeah. And so I had, him create something and uh now it's small <laughs> but it is you as a bust in the haunted mansion and i i did i finished this just as a test piece because i wanted you to be able to see it but this is easily printed larger demonic it's the haunted mansion. i know i know but i've never looked better so now this is kind of neat, but Nick said, you know, Neil's a fan of the circus. And so, that's, um, by the way, that's going here. Oh yeah, yeah, things are staying. So Nick ah! said- One second, oh, I'm being filmed something. <laughs> Nick said, Neil's a fan of the circus. And so I had an idea. I love this. And so he did this. Oh, wow. Wow, ah! wow, very WC Fields. 
That's so cool. So I, both of these can be printed wow. much, much larger if you so choose. But if you, if you wanted yourself your own slightly oh demonic, apparently. Well, first <laughs> you have to thank Nick. These are amazing. The bottoms, so the base, the bases come off. These are just these are oh, these fun. are resin printed. These are plastic printed. Oh, fun! You can kind of see the original colors. Yeah, of course. And obviously, you can glue these in if you want. But what we should do is get Nick to do a version of David Harper and Gideon, and then we have four haunted mansion busts that we can put like that we could print full size like, next to each other, and yes. one can be broken on the side or something, yeah. just like the, <laughs> like the singing. The singing busts. Well, I'm glad. I'm really glad you like this. I, I thought it would be a neat little treat, this. something that you could hide in the house somewhere until we get you some bigger ones. They're amazing. Thank you so much. I've never looked creepier. Whoo! <laughs> <laughs> we are. Back, we are back from Neil Patrick Harris's house where we did some amazing things. I'm so thankful he liked these. Uh, I may be a little bit tired, but I know he liked them and that just brings joy to my heart. Plus we did some amazing things out there. Literally the biggest 3D printing project I've ever done, ever, ever. 87 days worth of 3D printing. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for you to see that. I don't know if Neil or Nick are gonna be releasing these sculpts of uh, Neil as a Haunted Mansion bust. Um, I, I'll try to work that out, but I know, I get the feeling, we've had some conversations, I get the feeling this is not the last time you're gonna see some custom, amazing Haunted Mansion busts from Bugman 140. <sighs> I don't wanna spoil anything, but um, yeah. Well, if you made this far, you're awesome. Can't wait for you to see what's next. Hug each other more. Get us uh, get some rest. And as always, high five. <laughs>